tonight. Hi, Adam. Hi, Jimmy. Thank you. All right, please. A lot of animals in this jungle. You know, people always ask us, who were your major influences when you were kids? And for me, I'd have to say my major, major influences were Benny Hill and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. <laughs> for, for those of you who don't know Benny Hill, he did a raunchy, funny comedy show on the BBC about 20 years ago. And even though he was from England, to me, he was as American as the Beatles. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe even more. When we grew up back in the days of yore, we didn't have the internet or pay-per-view porn. We had Benny Hill and his version of the Juggies. They called them Hill's Angels. And let me tell you, I could not get enough of those Hill's Angels. They'd have them, like, sitting at a fruit stand with two honeydew melons in front of them, like they were topless. If you blurred your eyes, it looked like... Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. It's a good to blur your eyes so you didn't damage one while you're busy, too, Jimmy. Right. <laughs> Benny taught me some valuable lessons about life. He taught me about chugging beer. He taught me about chasing women around in their underpants. He taught me about physically abusing the elderly. But... <laughs> But most of all, he taught me about physically abusing the elderly. Yeah. <laughs> he had this little bald guy he would slap on the head. Do you remember Benny? Yeah. yeah. Nothing funnier than that. No. Yeah. Benny was like the father I never had, not counting my real father and two stepdads. Yeah. <laughs> Benny's gone now, but he is not forgotten. No, he is not. This is my personal tribute to the great Benny Hill. tell you something, if Benny Hill were alive today, I have to believe he'd be suing your ass off. <laughs> Thankfully, there's not much left after that. <laughs> no. Now I know why they call it the pokey. <laughs> right. Chuggies, make Tarzan wish he wasn't gay. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
The reason that was funny, because after years of the big black man sodomizing me, <laughs> I was trying to rape him anally. Right. <laughs> and that's then, a twist. Yeah. And then the kid licked the crap. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now that's I why understand. was funny. All right. You know, people always ask me, does your wife like the show? Does she get mad? And that kind of stuff. Listen, the truth is, I don't know. We don't really talk much. But the fact of the matter is this. As bad as I am, and I'm bad, she has it pretty good. No cooking, very little cleaning. Uh, the kids, she keeps chained to the TV set. No sex. God knows no sex. And that's her, fine. But sometimes I wish things could be different. Like a wife from the 50s, you know, one of those sitcoms wives. Sometimes I, I just wish... Oh, good. Microwave taquitos again. Look, I had a busy day buying shoes. Hey, there are animals on the Discovery Channel that treat their mates better than this. Well, maybe you should marry one of them. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I will. will, will. Kids, kids, I want you to meet your new mommy. What happened to old mommy? She went back to Poland. Now, never mention her name again, okay? Okay. Wow, Gina never cleaned the windows. Wow, Gina never gave me a massage. Dingleberries. You. And then the proctologist says, wrecked him. I almost killed him. <laughs> Isn't she great? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. you think I almost didn't get married. Thanks for tonight. It meant a lot to me, you know. Tina hated those things. She didn't understand. It's the business. You got... Oh, sweet heaven. Hey, what the hell are you doing? She's a my monkey. She ran away, but I tracked her down. But, but what? Yeah. But we're in love. Oh, <laughs> I am sorry for you, my friend. I know. Once you taste the sweet, sweet chimpy, is it no go back? on my toothbrush. I hope you're happy. Happy? I don't know if I even remember what that word means. <laughs> AIDS got started. <laughs> when we come back, the wheel of destiny. <laughs> Juggies do the monkey, but not like Jimmy did. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Welcome back. wheel majestic isn't it this is not a game this is a showdown with fate here's how it works first we pick a guy from the studio audience and our uh, first contestant is ben thompson where ben. is ben ben come on out all right ben, uh, let's step over here ben all let's right. step closer to the wheel what do you yeah. do for a living i'm a machinist you're a machinist yep. adam what is that he works with metal Right on. Really? Adam, what do you say about guys that work with metal? Uh, what do I say about guys who are smaller than me that work with metal? <laughs> All idiots. All right. the 200 plus club, genius. <laughs> That's right. All right, Ben, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spin the wheel. Four of the spaces are good. Four of the spaces aren't so good. The good spaces are as follows. You could oil up a juggy. <laughs> You could win a canoe filled with tube socks. Yeah. You could get involved in a juggy pillow fight. Yeah. Or you could win $10 cash. Oh, my dear Lord. All right. That is the uh, yin. Here is the yang. Right. Actually, the first one rhymes with wang. Adam, peas on your wallet. That's a bad, yeah. And I gotta go too, like a five year old in the back of a station wagon. I gotta go. Uh, Cher licks your face. Yeah. Cher? Yeah. <laughs> Adam and Jimmy shave off your eyebrows. Yeah. And last but not least, 10 seconds in an ice tub, then you show your juggies to. Oops. <laughs> You show your privates to a Juggies. If you got Juggies, I want to see it. That's right. Now, this wheel is not fixed. You have an equal chance to land on any space. You're prepared to do whatever the wheel tells you. Yes, I am. Then spin the wheel of destiny. Sonny skied into that tree. He, he didn't roll over in his grave. He brodied. That's right. Mike Berniger, where are you? Mike, come on now. All right. All right, Mike. Mike, you've seen what the wheel has to offer you. How do you feel about spinning it? Well, I just hope this one's done with. That one is done with. What do you do for a living? I'm an engineer. You're an engineer? You drive a train? Yep. Wonderful. All right. Are you prepared to do whatever the wheel tells you? I think he's a part-time smart-ass, too. <laughs> yes, I'm prepared. All right. Then spin the wheel of destiny! Oh, wow, that's some spin. <laughs> what the? Oh! Whoa! We've, we've hit the mother load. Hold on. Let me have a look here. This is, uh, this is actually your wallet, not a prop. Oh, that's nice. Who's that? Is that, um, that your daughter? That's you. No. Oh. What is that? That's my niece. That's your niece? Okay. And that's, is that your nephew? Yep. And what is this, your pilot's license? Yep. All oh. right. I'm going to toss that in the... <laughs> and, and <laughs> let's see if Adam... Adam, can, Adam has trouble All right, come on, let me, that thing. Hey, don't talk. Let me phone. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Mike, what do you think of Adam's genitalia? Uh, uh, no comment. No comment? Uh, there we go. Well, take a look in there. Uh, that's actually that's Mike's wallet. <laughs> yeah, he's really going. Yeah, he's really, he's really peeing on your wallet. 
And I'd also, I'd like to make number two on your birth certificate if you happen to have it. I don't have it with me, sorry. You know, you know. Adam, are you uh, finished? I got a little more. <laughs> All right. Try to seal that thing up, boy. Uh, All right, there we go. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Give Mike his wallet back. All right, Adam. buddy. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's have a nice round of applause for Mike. There you go, Mike. Give Mike the, the whole tongue. Yeah, there, there you go. go. All right. Where is Greg Magnuson? Greg Magnuson, where are you? Come on down. Come on up, Greg. All right. All right. Hi, Greg. Good Greg, to see you. the wheel has been quite cruel tonight. Are you ready to spin the wheel of destiny? Let's do it. Then, then spin, spin the wheel, wheel of destiny and give it a good one. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. But has this not been our filthiest show ever, fellas? Yeah. All right, just enough time for a ziggy socky. Ziggy socky, ziggy socky, hoy, hoy, hoy. Ziggy socky, ziggy socky, hoy, hoy, hoy. Ziggy socky, ziggy socky, hoy, hoy.